The Wicked and the Divine Book 1 is a contemporary fantasy published by Image Comics, written by Karen Gillan, art by Jamie McKelvey, and colors by Matthew Wilson. If you are into pop music, teenage angst, and the concept of pop star idols sharing in God's transcendence, then you are in for a treat. The foundation of The Wicked and the Divine is this. Every 90 years, 12 gods, also known as the Pantheon, return as young people and take the form of pop stars. They are loved, they are hated, and within two years they die. It's a unique and interesting take on modern worship, but perhaps one that places too much emphasis on the premise, which in turn harms the quality and direction of the plot. The narrative follows a young teenage girl, Laura, as she interacts with the Pantheon and a murder mystery revolving around them. The majority of our time is spent on learning about this modern world, the value society places on these celebrities, the various quirks and powers of each of the Pantheon, and the Pantheon's perception of mortality. On the flip side, we experience how infatuated our protagonist is with the desire of attaining pantheon status. This derives from a shallow approach to life and the naivety that comes with it. When it comes to the art, the colors scream dynamic contrast. Each page pops and sizzles with a wide variety of magnificent color schemes. The art style is clean and gives the impression that the sound of pop music would look like if it took the form of images. It's easy to say the artwork is engrossing and will capture your attention just as much as the pantheon are capable of seducing their audiences. It's quite rare to experience within comic books the consumption of pop music, and The Wicked and the Divine succeeds in delivering and monopolizing on that concept as we travel around the streets soaking up all the acts. As the Pantheon continues to saturate the environment with their endless theatricals, it becomes quite apparent that accumulating worship from the general public is the aim of the game. Each Pantheon evaluates their success in the form of a cultural currency which translates into social media posts such as Twitter and cosplaying on Tumblr. The major human protagonist is merely a vessel used to experience the world devised by Gillen and McKelvey and to understand how pop culture dominates our very existence. This method works well in fleshing out their world, but personally left me feeling disconnected to Laura's character. The climax of The Wicked and the Divine Book 1 is the ending. It surprises you and feels out of place, but that is a good thing. Gillen and McKelvey build on the foundation of their story with extravagant entertainment delivered by the Pantheon, leaving just enough room to deliver an unforgettable finale. The Wicked and the Divine Book 1 will razzle and dazzle, hitting some of those keynotes and receiving a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching this week's review. Like and subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next week on Casper's Comic Coverage.